salvation. But that's not why I'm here. I know what I've done. And I need to pay for it. Dead. Hunting witches. With witch fire in my blood. I'm a sinner. An abomination. And our only hope. Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a new Let's Show on my channel. I'm, of course, the one that loves you there the most. It's the Love Giant 2024 is apparently the year of roguelikes. And, you know, as you can tell from the videos that I upload, I am a big fan of roguelikes. Probably my absolute favorite genre of all time. And 2024 has been an amazing year for your boy. Because this year, not only have I found Raven's Watch, RoboQuest... Slice and Dice, which wasn't released this year, but you know, I found it this year. And of course, overall for your boy, um, roguelikes in terms of like Binding of Isaac, Nuclear Throne, Wizard of Legend 2 also released this year. And RoboQuest is actually something that I absolutely love because that opened the floodgates to a new, whole new perspective, literally, on roguelikes. Because this is actually the first, I think, first, first Persian, per Persian? first person shooter roguelike and now another first person shooter has entered the roguelike fray and that my friends is witchfire i'm so fucking hyped for this game you can't even imagine this game has been on st on steam on youtube a bunch and it is an early access on steam at the moment which is usually a bad sign but you know b bear with your boy for a second game has been released at the 23rd of Septem september 2024 at least the uh, early access version and today i want I want to show you the entire because i played this game for four hours i bought it yesterday bought it four hours non-stop and it is literally that game where like it, it gives you that literally that little itch in terms of like roguelikes right it's like you know just one more run and then you know it's like okay one more okay one more you know you always want to go go in it again and it's so goddamn well made and it's it, it's it completely different from all the roguelikes that you have played so far but we're gonna go and take a look at the stream store page if you want to go and check out the gameplay and stuff like that because i know a little bit about the game in the four hours that i've played progression wise roguelike wise uh, then you know obviously timestamps are in the description so first off if you have no idea what witchfire is we're gonna take a look at the steam store page first here it is witchfire witchfire is a first person dark fantasy rpg shooter in which you play as a wicked sinner turned witch hunter on his final mi mission to reach salvation lots of religious st religious stuff that i don't give a fuck about um game and developer and publisher are the astronauts never heard about them and the thing is like not only this is, is this game a roguelite not only is it a first person shooter not only is it a souls like the game is goddamn hard um I think that's pretty much it, actually. Um, obviously, ge randomly generated, but that goes without saying if it is a rogue-like. Um, we actually have an early access roadmap of 2024 that I didn't even know about. So here we have um, basically the 
Okay, early access roadmap. This is gonna be tricky to navigate. Um, we have a fast response, pa response patch in October 2024. This month, basically. Funnel updates and fix for the high stakes update. Uh, December... Jesus fucking Christ. December 2024, we have a big step toward the late game. New areas. We have entire new region, our biggest yet, with new enemy set in early 2025. Mid-2025, we have the final region, most features complete, and then the full release in late 2024, we get version 1.0. And usually, if a game is in early access, especially a roguelike, if you compare it to what you have in Wizard of Legend 2, for instance, which I absolutely love that game, but this game is so goddamn good, it's ridiculous. So here we have a... Special offer? No, I guess we need about this game. So, actually, the thing is, like, what this game basically combines is obviously the roguelike element. You have the visuals of um, Hunt Showdown. If you like that, you're gonna love this one. And it's basically also an extraction shooter, which is also basically a first, uh, first person, a single player Hunt Showdown slash Escape from Tarkov. Even though I never played Escape from Tarkov, but this is basically it. You know, you go into a map, you get some loot, and then. Either you go out with the loot that you already gathered, or you try to gamble a little bit higher, get more stuff, which obviously you're more likely also to die, and then you basically extract with the stuff that you have. So, Witchfire is a single-player RPG shooter from the creative minds behind Painkiller. That's new. All right. And Bulletstorm. Embark on... Painkiller is so old, man. Jesus. Um, embark on... A, on Perilous exp expeditions, vanquishes, vanquish, vanquishing foes to enhance your powers and an arsenal, scavenge valuable resources and retreat to your sanctuary, or push your luck by confronting familiars, the powerful guardians of the witch. Skill and knowledge are essential to success against the witch of the Black Sea and her witch fire fueled army. If you die, return to the battlefield for a one time chance to reclaim what you lost or attack again with a new plan. Embark on imperialistic expeditions, explore vast, immersive biomes, and choose your battle battleground to confront the witch's forces. Each completed encounter strengthens you and your arsenal through the rogue light system called Arcana. There are countless ways to build your prayer and dominate the witch. Only the wi only the most wicked sinners are transformed into prayers, undead assassins sustained by witch fire flowing through their veins in the base of operations known as the. Hermitory, you can choose from a wide selection of distinctive weapons, spells, and artifacts to build your own prayer. On each expedition, you can extract your looted items or, if you feel confident, confront the witch's familiar to unlock new areas and powerful items and upgrades. Place to piece together a story from the from the past save, to save the future. Investigate ships crashing on the verge of the witch's land and locate the artifact that can tip the scales on the ongoing war between the church and the witches. I would like love to be on the witch side, but that's besides the point. Um, during the early access period, Witchfire will undergo changes, including new areas, enemies, weapons, and tools of destruction. Help us shape the game to reach its full potential. Now, with that being said, my friends, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start an entirely new profile. So you see basically what the starting thing looks like when you start up the game. And then I'm going to show you basically later on what happens if you have unlocked a little bit more. So without further ado, let's go and jump right into the game. Okay, my friends, we are in the main menu. Obviously, we have different types of profiles. You can see I'm level 16 on my private thing. I'm going to show you that later on, basically, how it looks, as I mentioned, um, how it looks when you unlock a couple of new stuff. But we're going to go into a new game, and I think we get the story first. So let's enjoy that first. This game was made by a small independent team. Thank you for supporting us. I love you guys. A war rages between the witches and the remnants of humanity ruled by the church. Despite the numbers advantage, the church and its armies keep losing territories to witches and their foul magic. In a distant land controlled by one of the witches, Papal scouts discover a wreckage of a ship that had been lost for several centuries. It carried a valuable artifact, one that could change the course of the conflict. Only witch hunters called prayers can face a witch and live. You are one of them, anointed by the Pope himself to recover the artifact. After a long and arduous journey, 
low on witchfire that gives you unnatural powers, and with most of your belongings lost, you arrive at the destination. Destination fucked. So, at the beginning we can choose our prayer, which is basically our character. I'm not entirely sure what the differences are, but I think it's just like um, your starting items, I think. And your starting magic and your start and your overall stats, <clears throat> I think. So we can choose between the butcher, strong, heals quickly, has the stamina of a much younger man, fearless in battle, what lesser men mistake for anger and rashness. So we can click to see details. Our starting level is level six. Here we see our stats. We have our vitality, which is our HP. Healing is basically how much um, we heal, basically. We have endurance, which is like stamina. We have witchery, which is mana, I think, sorta. Uh, the more you study witch magic and open your mind to its esoteric truths, the faster your body is ready for another spell. Yeah, basically, or mana recharge, I guess. Meta metanoia, which fire gives you life and unnatural powers. Metanoia allows you to waste less volatile witch fire during the absorption pro process. Okay. And luck is obviously luck. And then obviously our starting gear, <clears throat> we have a we start with a fetish. <laughs> when low on health, any damage taken makes the fetish release a powerful shockwave. Pretty good actually. Better sweet nightshade. And we have the Midas as an auto rifle. That is the thing basically. Uh, you unlock revolvers, uh, long range weapons, um, assault rifles, pretty much everything like that. And he starts with the Midas, which is uh, which is heats bullets. Heats bullets, okay. Boosting damage or... Oh, igniting enemies. Pretty good, which is an auto rifle. Then we have the Hunter. A cunning fighter with a steady hand and no ego. The mission is the only thing that matters. Everything else is a mere distraction. So he starts with the Ricochet. Bullets ricochet among Mark enemies. I unlock that. That is sick. I love that. And he starts with a Relic. Painted Tooth. A tooth found among Witch's Ashes. <clears throat> Critical shots on full health. Enemies ignite them. Ooh. Okay, we have the Slayer, finds twisted delight in wielding witchcraft to dispatch the witch-made abominations, agile with a talent for close-range combat. He starts with the Cricket, which is a machine pistol, dash after a kill, reloads and boosts the gun, sick, and starts with a light spell, a lightning bolt that knocks back enemies and shocks enemies. Right, we have the Shadow, which is the one that I chose, respects uh, witch magic enough to avoid unnecessary risks, why slit throats when a bullet from the Shadows achieves the same end. He obviously starts with an with the all-seeing eye, a bolt action rifle. Critical hits hurt all enemies inside the all-seeing eye. Everyone basically. As you see, a shockwave that's and has a light spell, the shockwave, a shockwave that stuns nearby minor enemies and exhausted major ones. Next up, we have the Saint, an avid student of the fates, for as Pobelius Sirius noted. Against the lucky man, even gods are powerless. So obviously he has the highest luck gain at the beginning. 15, he starts with two weapons. The ricochet, bullets ricochet among marked enemies. And the vulture fires a difficult to satiate arrow that actively seeks the next target after wounding one. We have the ice sphere as a heavy spell. Spawns an icy fear that protects the caster from damage and freezes any enemy that gets inside it. And... As a relic, the Book of Serpents, a powerful amulet disguised as a grimoire. Anyone who hurts his owner is cursed with decay. Damage over time, I guess. Interesting. Uh, he starts at level 1, which is like the downside. He has pretty good stats, actually, looking at it. Like, everything has 9. This is a, a 15, obviously. But le starting level 1, Shadow, for instance, starts at level 6. Slayer at level 6. Hunter at 5. And Butcher at 6. And then we have the Penitent. A haunted man cursed by his past and oblivious to the shadows looming in his future. Warning, not recommended for beginners. Starts at level 1. Starts with the hunger. I hate that one. Rewards. That picture is sick though. Uh, rewards perfect aim with increasingly potent bullets. Pretty good actually. Um, but... I don't know. Maybe there, there, maybe there are more downsides to this guy. The thing is, like, the game gets progressively harder um, once you upgrade something, but we get into that later, obviously. It's not when you upgrade your character, by the way. Just wanted to mention that. So, <clears throat> um, I really like the Ricochet, but I'm going to show you that later anyway. So, and I don't... Well, Machine Pistol? Mm. Do we start with the Butcher? Let's start with the Butcher. Seems a little bit vanilla, you know? 
but still, I like the bittersweet nightshade and also the Midas, so let's see. Oh, okay, we go right in. So, here we are in good old Witchfire. We have the movement, obviously. We can... Hold on, let me show you that actually right here. We can basically jump. We can double jump. We can do a... Let me go. If I go back, I think I can see the controls again. Yeah. We can dash like this. Basically consumes our stamina, as you see on the bottom left. Bottom left is also our HP bar. The one that's just now increased is basically our um, endurance. We can crouch. While running, we can also slide like this, which is pretty cool. Uh, and obviously we have, yeah, as I mentioned, the jump and then the double jump. Also, when we fall, we can jump once to basically uh, mitigate falling damage, which this game has. Uh, we can do the tutorial real quick here, so you see what this is all about, basically. A page from an old grimoire. Claim that. Uh, so this is basically an enemy, and when we get on the different kind of things here, I guess... Last time it was actually when you go around this. Let me see. Maybe I have to step step on this. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Okay. We just follow this and then... Right here we have stamina. I mentioned that. Movement abilities and wounds cost stamina. Stamina replenishes over time or by absorbing witch fire from enemies. Running out of stamina makes you tired, then exhausted and weak. Yeah. Which is basically what you see right here. Tired, exhausted. Here we go. And this basically just means, you know, this thing basically just means that we are exhausted. So we can aim, obviously, down the sides. We can fire. Which looks like this, basically. We can reload. And if we have two weapons, we can also, obviously, switch between weapons. We only have one at the moment. Uh, we can have two weapons and then a demonic weapon, which is a demonic weapon subtype. So we have headshots, obviously. We have also normal body shots. That deal a little bit less damage. You saw this one, for instance, deals 9 damage. And if I hit the head, it's 11 damage. Let's go over here. Uh, when stamina is max yellow color or uh, you are in focus, while in focus, dash while looking at an enemy to expose their so soul sigil. Shoot it before it disappears to stun the enemy. Taking damage resets the bonus stamina and removes focus, but both can be restored by killing enemies. Look at the enemy and... Boop. There it is. We shoot. Okay, wait. Hold on. We have to wait. Here we go. We can maximize our thing. And there's the soul sigil. Right here. Let me just dash. There it is. We, we shoot it. He is stunned. And we can take advantage of that. Every mistake, like getting hurt by a trap, fills the calamity bar. When, when full, the witch casts a powerful calamity curse. Fight the calamity directly or destroy the catalyst, a giant witchfire vortex powering it. Okay, we either destroy the Calamity Catalyst or wait and fight the Calamity. Which basically just bonds enemies, if I remember that correctly. Uh, we have Witchery. So we have the melee attack, which is, for instance, this one. Like the, the, the shove, basically. And then if we have a Light Spell, we would release it with F and we don't have anything. So, you know, for, for this character, we only have the Force Touch right here. Spells consume Stamina and Witchfire in your blood. Uh, restore spellcasting by uh, ability by damaging and killing enemies to absorb their witch fire. That is basically what witch fire is there for. And now we have health. When your health is depleted, you die. Heal yourself with healing elixirs. Manufacture elixirs at the apothecary using Angelica plants found during expeditions. With Q, we can use one. And it doesn't heal you fully directly. It just, you know, progressively heals you over time. The nerf. So, let's check out... I think we can just check out a run. Our, our runs are basically started... Oh, yeah, right. Are basically started... Um, over here, at this portal thingy. Navigation charts are used to safely traverse... Uh, key... La Lee liners. Something. Lee lines. This one details a route to a nearby island with a giant tower. So... These are basically the biomes that we have at the beginning. We only have Isle of the Dam I I Island of the Damned. Later on, when we basically completed this, sort of, we have the Scarlet Coast. Then we have the Iron Gate Castle. Two unknown areas. 
uh, which is actually not a, not not available. Yeah, it's it's not in early access yet. And then also we have the Witch Mountain, which also isn't in early access yet. So so far we have these three ones: Island of the Damned, Scarlet Coast, and Iron Gate Castle. Once you basically have, uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you one after the other. So here we have the Apothecary. An alchem alchemist's illusions made real. Right here, we can basically brew and grab potions. We need Angelica and Elixirs to basically make a potion. So we can brew them right here. Bam. We have 7 out of 30 in our stash now. And that is basically the Apothecary. For now. And I think we actually also already have access to this. A note signed with the prayer sigil. Good shit. Right here is basically where we ascend, where we upgrade. We That is like the extraction thing. We have um, soul points at the bottom left. You see them right here. We are at zero currently. And then you see the upgrade, how, how much it costs. We can upgrade our HP, healing, endurance, witchery, mit 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 metanoia, and luck. And it also quickly tells you... Uh, more In more detail, you see it to the right, basically, what it basically does. And then to the left, it gives you like a brief um, explanation on what it does. Right here we have the Sanctuary. We can unlock this specific path right here. This is locked for now. We need 2,500 vo uh, Volatile Witchfire, which we can obviously get from playing the game. It's pretty easy to get it to get. Here we have... You cannot comprehend this magic. We need level 7 to actually inter interact with this thing. But here we can equip our gear. We can change if we have more relics, fetish, rings. We get more weapons. The demonic weapon slot is here. Spells, also a light and a heavy spell. We also see our Gnosis, our level, and our Witchfire. Right here we can enhance our gear. So our weapons are basically... You can upgrade them. Um, it has an unknown power. And if you want to unveil that, basically when we want to upgrade it, we need to kill 25 enemies in order to do that. So... Maybe we'll be able to do that in the first mission. We'll see. Or in our first run. And here we have Sealed Away with Intricate Magic. We need Gnosis level 2, which I don't even have in my private run. So let's jump right in and see what the game looks like and basically what the roguelike element is. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we only have the Island of the Damned. Ruins of a giant tower built on a small island. You can hear faint screams of nothing. There is nothing but the wind. Witch defense is very low. Witch fire gains are 100%. Let's start the expedition. The objective is investigate the tower or acquire resources and escape back to the hermitorium. Witch fire at risk. This is basically how much witch fire we have in our possession at the moment, which is zero. We have one out of one elixir. Workshop research. Basically, just you're going to see that later. We're just going to continue. And see, the witch reorganizes her defense each time you level up. I'm also going to tell you, if I don't forget, what that means. And here we are in the game. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uncover the secrets of the Wailing Tower and area. Even the witch power falters. Or gather some witch fire and treasures and use portals to escape back to the Hermitorium. Level up, research, upgrade your gear and come back stronger. The choice is yours. So, this is the map looks the same every single time. But basically, the spawns and what you can get is different each and every single time. We have an unknown artifact right here. Every now and then, a silver of tormented soul binds itself to an object upon the, the owner's death. Even the most attuned prayers, artifacts with such properties are often nearly impossible to detect. The particular one, however, radiates immense power and purpose. We can basically give a marker there so we can... You know, track it down. Here we have ammo chests, which we don't really need because it just gives you ammo. And this is basically where we want to go. We have dangerous areas where basically enemies spawn. And this is how we level up also. We have highly dangerous area. We have extremely dangerous areas. And also the Wailing Tower, which is basically this entire mission thing. This one changes once we have done it. The thing is, this portal right here, our starting portal. Let me just move away a little bit here closes after 4 minutes and 40 seconds. This is always a safe way to basically get away from the map. Once this is once 40, 4 minutes and 40 seconds are expired, we can only uh, 
get away or extract from this map with the itinerant portal which is a portal that's that as it mentions right here it pretty periodically releases additional enemies so you have to once you once this is once this one is expired the starting one the only way to extract is via this one so you have to kill enemies no matter what in order to get out of this which is which is the cool thing and then we have the dormant portal and an alami on the crossing of Lee lines, you can turn it into a portal back to the Hermatorium. Single use. Once used, it becomes a probable new starting location for later expeditions. So every time you come back to, to the Island of the Damned and you have this unlocked, then you can either start here at the shorelines or you start right here at this portal. That is always random, at least to my knowledge. We're going to go over to this unknown artifact first and then make a detour at the dangerous area, maybe on both of them to level up a little bit so I can show you the combat as well. And there we have the enemies. We can crouch. We can shoot right here. Every enemy bar obviously has like different attack patterns. These ones are really annoying because they have these heat seeking missiles, as you see. But easy to avoid. You just double jump a little bit. Try to go for some headshots. There we go. That's a level up. And here we have the manifestation. We can use that. And that is the roguelike element also of this one. All upgrades that we get here are random every single time. And once you extract, they are gone. And you, so you have to re-enter to get different types of level up arcana. So here we have, for instance, health boost or last elixir. Or this one, we need white raven feathers to unveil, which we usually get from opening chests. Health boost is increased max health. And last elixir, last elixir fully heals and temporarily increases health. We only have one, so that is permanent. But we're going to go with the health boost here. And you see our maximum health is increased by plus 20%. This is witch fire, basically. That small witch, witch fire splinter, which, you know, gives us the... Which gives us the thing to cast magic again. Ceremonial obelisk. The location and translation to obelisk were added to your map. I think this is actually to... Uh, I think this is actually like when you unlock all of them. You can do like the side quest in this one, I think. I just did that because I found them before I actually... Oh, there's a goon. Easiest enemies, by the way. But for some reason... Oh, here we go. Got him. Perfect. Sometimes they drop something, sometimes they don't. Like he could have, for instance, also just dropped some ammo. And we have some hunters here. And these guys always keep away from them because they explode like this. Oh, okay. There's this guy again. And I think she just... Yeah, if you see this rumbling, then the witch just summoned more enemies. Are we in a... We are in a very dangerous, highly dangerous area, so... We have an, another ceremonial obelisk here. You also see them... Uh, appearing on the map then also. Uh, there is a weapon chest here somewhere. Or not weapon, but, a, but an ammo chest, which should be around... Here, maybe? Do we need to get a little bit closer? Force touch. Kill them. Oh, stay away a little bit. They also damage enemies when they are close enough. Which helps out. I don't see the fucking... Ah, oh, there it is. That is an ammo chest. If you look at the bottom right, where our ammo is, we get demonic ammo and then also standard ammo. Uh, hold on. I actually want to get this, like, highly dangerous area, but I don't see any enemies. This might be the last one. Yes. So we have another level up here. Full health firepower. Increased weapon damage at full health or damage boost on the final bullet in the magazine. Which is good for, like, rifles. Obviously, bolt action rifles, for instance, because, you know, it's more likely that it deals, like, high damage. But I could also go for... I can't go for this one. I need three raven feathers that you see in the bottom right here. White raven feathers. Um, they're both not that good, so I'm just going to wait on that. Maybe we get like a white, white raven feather. 
Okay, here is a chest. This is locked. Yeah. We need a supply chest key, which we get from random drops from enemies. This one, for instance, could have ha could have one. If you see a chest, it is also marked on your map, so you know where it is. Okay. That was a little bit prob problematic. So now we can also use our elixir. Heal up a little bit. Enemies can also drop that. There is also a perk or an arcana that gives you... Um, that gives, that gives enemies a chance to basically drop elixirs. Which is not, not that high of a chance, but it's something. Which is pretty good at the beginning also, when you only have one slot anyways. Kill this guy. Oh, we overheat. I just saw that actually on the bottom here. This is also another thing for this weapon, I guess. That it can overheat. Okay, this guy wants something. Got him. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, we can go... Yeah, we can go to the relic here, actually. I also saw someone here. Yep. Got him. Ah, another goon. Nice try. Not really. So right here is basically the main objective, which is like this tower structure. Nice little lag there. Sick. Okay, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. She spawned something. We got some major laggage here. Force touch. Okay, watch out. This is a very highly dangerous uh, area, so gonna be on our tippy toes here. Okay. This weapon feels good. They are always... Okay, th that guy just went invisible, I think. Interesting. But yeah, never stay still. Always keep moving. If you want to live, that is. Oh wait, actually I'm going the wrong way. And we haven't cleansed the very dangerous area yet, so there's still one guy lurking about here. And another one over there. Okay, that hit. Someone behind us? Actually, yes. Okay, hold the phone. Mili. Okay. Good shit. Move around. Got it. Okay, that was spooky. And you see, you also have to watch your sixes, obviously, up in this. Get the witch fire. Get that guy. There's still more coming. Pause. Oh shit, these guys. Yeah, I hate them. I thought we can avoid them, but apparently we can't. Okay. So they jump like this and they deal a high amount of damage when they are close, as you see here. Okay. I think I have to dip out of this. I thought I could actually handle this extremely highly dangerous area, but apparently I can't. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh boy! Okay. Good, I think we got him, yep. Next guy, this one. First touch, stun him. Nice, okay, we got it. Ooh. We have health sacrifice, increased weapon damage at the cost of reduced maximum health, a lot actually. Increased weapon damage against elite and ascendant enemies, sure. Sure thing. Oh god, we are basically at zero HP. Uh, I guess we're gonna get the relic and then just fucking get the hell out of this. Em embroidered staff blessed by the Holy Spirit. Sure thing. Taking that. Thank you. Well, that's normal. Okay. 
Let's check the portal. That portal is destroyed. Uh, we now ac activate the dormant portal so we can basically have a different starting area. And never underestimate your boosting power from your jump. Thing is, like, we haven't found a key yet, which kind of sucks. That's a sniper. Okay. You fuck boy. Okay. He killed us. The thing is, now I can show you what basically happens when we go back into the game. We haven't lost anything, so that's... I mean, actually, we lost everything that we collected, which is a problem. So, right here, we can start a new expedition. We go in. Uh, which we are at risk, obviously, is zero. So, we can continue. And now that we died, we can now go back and get our stuff back that we that we got which is right here your remains volatile witchfire and items you had with you when you were killed you never lose your weapon which is good uh only basically everything that you have gathered uh, throughout your run uh okay we have some enemies here ah that is actually like the low risk area so we can actually get that If it's only three enemies, even better. First touch. Nice. Okay, level up. This is a weapon upgrade. Fast reload. Or reload dash. Dashing partially reloads equipped weapon and temporarily increases damage. No fast reload. Pretty good. I saw someone here. Okay, we have some witch fire here. There's a chest. Okay, maybe we can get a supply key. So, I think it also shows you... Yeah, you see what you can get from this, uh, which is like White Raven Feather Gold, which is another currency that we can get. Which is also pretty importante. Highly dangerous area. I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna show you some different areas also. I like the little foresty area over there, though. We can get a little bit further up here. We check. Alright. We have these obelisks again. They're like scattered around this uh, around the tower, so it's kinda easy actually to find them. Fuck boy. Okay, he dropped some ammo. Which I don't really need. We have, like, more than enough. But, you know, while we're at it, I mean... I mean, why not, right? So, against them, usually double jumping works to dodge them. You just need to time it. Or, obviously, you dash. At the right moment again. Uh, elites can drop the biggest of Witchfire Crystals. Or, flinch... And movement penalty from damage strongly reduced, but it costs stamina. Go for the clusters. So we can force touch a little bit more often. And I literally want to fight humans because they can drop supply ch supply keys. You stay you come back, young man. Fucking gooners nowadays. Okay, she which spawned something? And if it's just goons, then, you know, I'm cool with that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, seems like it. Take that. I was gonna say, I heard that. Come here. Okay. Okay. Goons are so easy. <laughs> also, these guys, they can be scary when they ambush you, but that's about it. Just because they basically explode like this, and that is obviously pretty severe damage.
Well, I wanted to, to sh wanted to show you the other side, but here we are again. Oh, God, okay, that was a little bit scary. Okay, here are my friends again. The big idiots. Did we killed them before he could actually jump. I could have also killed this one, so he deals explosion damage. Okay, something spawned behind us and around us, and that is like in this foresty area, and it's a little bit scary because I can't see well enough. That's a gooner. Let me get this guy real quick. Okay. Get the goon. Paint the, paint, paint the forest new with this guy. I also, as you see, when we are close to a portal, we need to stand there for a little bit. We also need to kill enemies if they are coming for us. Or the portal won't open. Open. Chaos Reload. After spending the last half of a magazine, reload can, can apply a random element to the new magazine. Okay. Increased weapon stability, handling, and aiming down side speed. Let's go. I like aiming down side anyway, so, you know. Here we go. Oh, we can get a healing elixir. Well, let's level up. Safe reload. Temporary dam damage resistance after reloading a weapon. Hmm. Yeah. I'll take that. Ah, uh, yeah. You can also see the duration of this, which is like four, se four seconds. 30% damage reduction, four seconds. Really good one. Ah, uh, yeah. We can't get that because we already... You can increase your... um. Like how many, I think but when you level up, there is like a specific level where you can hold two elixirs and I think multiple ones when you level up even more because the game gets progressively harder, obviously. We haven't found a key yet, which sucks, so I can't show you what is inside a supply chest. Because you really want, want to get them, simply because it can give you gold, and I'm going to show you what gold is used for. Um... So we got the relic. Yeah, our my mission basically is to get the remains. We have just a dangerous area around there, which is not a problem. Ammo is getting a little bit low, but we also have a, have an ammo chest next to it, so that works. There's another obelisk. Should be a couple more, I think. Yeah, there's another one. As you see, they are just on the on the path, so not that hard to find it. This should be the weapon chest, yep, or ammo chest. Also got a witchfire cluster. Another obelisk. That's a goon. There are our remains. Don't get too close there because you spawn a lot of enemies and that is basically the main objective of this map. So we got all of our stuff back. This one, yeah. I also want to open this one. So this is basically... Yeah, you are, yeah. The sniper. This is another entry to the map. So we either spawn at the shore. Oh, there's a key. Nice. Another level up. Uh, faster stamina regeneration or an extra elixir slot. Why not? I'm gonna extract anyways. Um, so this portal is basically open. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to get the supply chest and then we're gonna extract through that portal. Ah, this fuck boy. I hate these enemies. Yeah. I mean, they work with the weapon that I usually have for the, for the shadow, which is like a bolt action rifle. Because it deals like high damage and crits. If you headshot. So I think it's like two shots or something and they are dead. But with a weapon like this. A little bit more difficult. To say the least. So here by the way I'm going to show you. You can jump here. And then mitigate or completely negate actually the fawn damage that you would take otherwise. Oh watch out. We double jump there. Let's take the supply chest so we get even more. Out of this run. So here we have the white raven feathers, which we can also use for stuff like this. This is unknown. As you can see, you need to use white raven feathers to unveil. 
And here we have Revenge. Temporarily increased weapon damage after any damage is taken. Which we could take if I would have two more Raven Feathers. And you also see this is a weapon upgrade. This is a Varia upgrade. This is a weapon, weapon, Varia. That is also random every single time. Interesting, okay. Um, yeah, so we extract through this storm and portal right here. Um, any At any time, like the entire screen can shake again and then basically means that the witch is a little bit angry and spawns enemies. So be aware of that. Always manage your stamina also because you don't want to run out of stamina when that happens. And depending on the enemy, they can chase you for a really long time. So always be on the lookout. And right here is basically the main objective of this one, which doesn't change once you've completed, uh, unless you have completed it, obviously. We step into the portal, and our escape is successful. We see our kills, our events, zero out of one. We found two out of seven chests. This is our witch fire that we got. Zero treasure. Beautiful. We got some, crystal, some crystals. And that is the gameplay loop, basically. Now that we have tracked a, a, a tr extracted with a little bit, I can show you how to use it. We also upgraded our weapon, which you can see right here. Ready to unveil power. Visit Mysteria Forge in the Hermitorium. Uh, I think we have to ascend to reach level 7 so we can use the mirror. I'm gonna go for healing. We can upgrade that. I'm gonna keep the rest of the witch fire, 5,600. We can ascend again. I give our more points in vitality, basically, for instance. So now, here's the workshop. Research gear and items. Here is basically where the money comes into play. The first one, apparently for these three, is free. And then we can unlock demonic weapons. And you see, if I want to unlock this, I need 10 gold. I have zero at the moment. And gold is basically... You get that through chests. You have to find them. You have to find a key. Then you open it. And then there's a chance that you can get um, gold from it. We can um, research light spells, heavy spells, uh, player invocations, relics, fetishes, sure. Ring, uh, which is another, obviously, uh, that we can equip. Mysterium incantation, third Mysterium incantation, and two shadow orbs, which are unav unavailable at the moment. You see also the research time, which is 15. Not sure if that's minutes or something. Um, but we can basically, for instance, get a close range one. Well, this one also... Yeah, this is like basically like sniper rifles. Here we have hand cannons. Hate them. Or shotguns. We can go for this. And now when we have gold, we can also boost this. So the progress is a little bit slower. Or boosted, basically. And now when you upgrade a weapon... Uh, not equip, upgrade, which is right here. We can enhance it, the Midas. We unveil the Mysterium, and now... Boom. We have unknown power. To unveil this power, we have to kill 100 enemies with this. The first Mysterium actions, 0 out of 75, so we have to do that seven, 75 times, which is... Also, you get a Mysteria when you upgrade it. Continuous fire heats up the weapon. Bullets deal more damage when heated, and less when overheated. So you have to manage that. Uh, second Mysterium Incantation is basically, or you get that basically, by researching it in the workshop, which is the second one right here. Uh, you need level 10 for that, and also Gnosis 1, which I'm also gonna, you know, explain you what that is. And then you can upgrade your weapon. Hold on. Oh yeah, you can, can enhance it at the moment, but yeah. Then you can basically... Um, unlock level 2 for this, and then obviously there's also a level 3. We also see the base parameters of this one. Stun power is very low. We have the hip fire damage, ADS range, stability, rate of fire, mobility cap size, clip size, literally everything. Damage is a little bit low, but obviously it's like, you know, an assault rifle at that. And we still have 5,000 witch fire um, or souls left. So we can use them for... More endurance is also always welcome. And now we have 157 remaining. Oh, actually, that was a little bit stupid because actually what I should have done is uh, open this one. We need 
2500 volatile witch fire. I'm gonna show you one more run in this and then I'm gonna show you how it looks with an already more advanced uh, character. And also the second um, second um, map, the Scarlet Coast. But we can go in since we haven't done the um, the main objective yet. This one changes. The objective that you see right here changes as far as I know once you've done it. Um, we have Witchfire at risk, obviously. We have Healing Elixirs, one out of one. In our work workshop research, we have one active. We can have two maximum. Healing Elixirs will be auto-refilled once on your return to a hematorium if you have some in, a in your stash. And now, we start right here because we unlocked this little beautiful thing. We start at a highly dangerous area, which is not a good sign. But the thing is, like, we want to level up first before... We go for the Wailing Tower because it took me a lot of trials actually, or tries to actually get that. Uh, I like to have two weapons for that because that makes things a little bit easier. Because she spawns a lot of fucking enemies. I don't want to go for... This is like a highly dangerous area. I'm going to go for a normal dangerous one first because it's a little bit less scary. So yeah, we want to, this is pretty cool. You want to make sure that you overheat your, or heat up your weapon to put it in a heat gauge so it deals more damage, but you don't want to overheat it because then it deals reduced damage. That's pretty cool. And there are like lots of different, obviously in this case, assault rifles. You have uh, lots of different sniper rifles, uh, hand cannons. I fucking absolutely hate them, but maybe I'm missing something. And there's apparently a dangerous area here, but I don't see any enemies, so... What the fuck? I think we need, like, Gnosis level 1. I'm also gonna show you what that is all about, basically. Stun this guy. Let's see. An upgrade for our weapon. Chaos Reload or... Fast Reload. Uh, I'm gonna go Chaos. After spending at least half a magazine, Reload can apply a random element to the new magazine. Chance is 10%, which is not a lot. Now we need Gnosis 1 to unlock whatever the hell that, that is. Where, are they, where, where, are they, where are the enemies? Where they are. Need to get a little bit closer because the range of this weapon obviously is not the best. Same actually for the bold action rifle, weirdly enough. Oh, okay. Well, that fucking hurt. My feelings. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we have a sniper to the left somewhere. And this guy's sneaking up on us. Where's that sniper, dude? There he is. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And force touch. Beautiful. So that's our extraction point also. Let's see. We have blind fire. Increased non-critical weapon damage. Okay. Increases strafe speed when aiming down sight. Ooh. I'm gonna go blind fire though. Even though I always go for headshots anyway, so you know. Not really Mando, I guess, but we take what we can. We're at the deep bay. And we should be right on top of a dangerous area. I don't see anyone. Where is everyone? Where are my levels? Oh, here we go. Here, here, we, here we go. Here we go. They're coming. Pause. Maybe not. Yeah, think. Oh, shit. Okay. Was a little bit too close for comfort there. Obviously, these guys are a little bit more dangerous when you are in the woods because it obstructs your view. Stun you. 
A little bit of melee damage. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, this one works really well when you get the, the Arcana where it's more likely that enemies drop elixirs. That really comes in handy. And I would like to see actually a chest and also... Oh, this is also something. Uh, you have Angelica right here from the Rock Rats. And uh, that is basically one of the things that you need in order to craft um, elixirs, healing elixirs. So they are also strewn about randomly on the map. So once you see them, obviously grab them. I think that's... Or is it? I think that was a sniper. Let's gear up our stamina so we can stun him. Oh yeah, you can also eat mushrooms. Sometimes it's good, most of the time it's, it's not. Oh, I was too far away. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, still too far away. Gotcha. We have we don't have our first touch. Ah, oh, got these guys. Okay. If they are paired up with like other enemies, they become a problem right here. Yeah, yeah, these guys, for instance. That's a big problem then. Okay. Oh shit. That was scary. Can you not? Okay, heal up. Highly dangerous area. Keep that in mind. Okay. Once it's past you, they usually can't get you. Force touch. Usually a reliable kill. Oh, goddamn. I think there's another one. There he is. That was a homing spell incoming, but I think... Not sure if we dodged it or not. That should be the last one. Yeah, that was a highly dangerous area. Cleared it. Sweet. Uh, power drain damage boost for spells and weapons when stamina is fully drained, is which is scary. Let's go faster stamina regeneration. We're gonna go down, down the path in the middle here. Let's see. Uh, do we go? Okay, but well, if we have a good, that's, that's the thing. We have a good amount of soul, uh, souls, whatever. Um, we have five thousand witchfire, five thousand sixty-eight. I could extract now, because that's a lot, and level up and shit. Or, or, I do the thing where I always failed at, which is. The Waiting Tower. Because it spawns a lot of enemies and it's actually goddamn scary. Um, okay. I'm gonna go down here. Get these two areas. Get the ammo chest. And then we're gonna attempt this. I'm gonna level up twice, I guess. With every single one. So I'm almost at max level. So let's, let's, let's try. Let's try it. Um... And hopefully, don't die. Yeah. Yep. Nailed it. I had to laugh at that. You know, this game looks awesome. Sound is pretty good. Lots of ambient sounds, obviously. As you hear. The whole vibe of this is pretty cool. Like, it's literally Tarkov meets um, Hunt Showdown. Uh, there are also, by the, way, by the way, some of these chests that are already open, but they have, like, I think, less valuable loot. And I haven't found a goddamn key yet. God dang it. 
Okay, dangerous area there. I see goons. I see... That's a rock. I thought it was one of these homing guys. Looked a little bit like it. Yo, come back here. Yeah, well, not you. Where's the goon? There he is. Beautiful. Oh, I can't stun them, apparently. Okay, what you got? Witchfire orbs. Instead of regular witchfire, dead enemies drop a quickly dissolving high potency witchfire orb or increased chance for slain enemies to drop a healing elixir. Which, this bonus elixir is pretty good. I take that. We take this area over there, take the ammo chest, and then we're good. I don't know if that... Yeah, that was a sniper. Good thing I dashed. Okay. Now, even though at the moment I have zero elixirs, which is a little bit... Mm, Uh, increased weapon stability handling and aiming on sight speed or immune immunity to enemy attacks after reloading an empty magazine. Mm. I mean, we have Chaos Reload, which is like half of the magazine, which I absolutely forgot about, but... I'm gonna go fire am firearm mastery. More stability and stuff is actually pretty goddamn good. And we need actually the ammo also if we want to make the side quests. If we want to complete that. So... With zero healing elixirs, here we go. Oh boy, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of fun. For the enemies. Yo, fuck boy. Oh, that's ammo, which we already are at max. Thank you. Okay. We're almost, um... We're almost maxed out. We have to make sure not to go there when we kite enemies, so... <laughs> you know, it would make it a lot harder, obviously. Pause on that. Okay, let's see. I had, like, a lot of issues actually clearing this. It's so much easier with two fucking... Mm, with two weapons, however. But you know, I leveled up so much. Fuck it. Let's go. So we just have to stand here, inspect the two statues, spawn a lot of fucking our assholes, and then uh, survive, hopefully. There we go. Okay, max level. Hold on. Didn't take anything. Uh, sliding partially reloads equipped weapon and increased damage and range during the slide. Or dashing partially reloads equipped weapon and and temporarily increases damage. Let's take that. We are max leveled. We have a lot of arcana. Let's stack them out. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, everyone is in front of us. Get spit. Okay. Musketeer, I think. Mufasa. Okay, I got him. Where's the rest? There you are. I couldn't stun him some for some reason. Okay, well, yeah, once they are close to you, they will wreck your mouth. Oh, god damn it. Don't let them get too close. We don't have our... Force touch ready yet. So we need some witch fire in order to cast it again. Don't, 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 don't get too close. There's also a musketeer. So another sniper. That guy shouldn't be able to get to us. Well, never mind. He is. And he will. Okay. Okay. Let's see. There should be a lot more. Maybe not. Well, 
I had like 20 tries last time. Okay. So here we are at the tower entry chamber. We can get some fire breath, which is another ring, I think it is. We have player's note one, a note signed with a pray play player's sigil. And the Scarlet Coast charge would now, now we basically have um, the opportunity to go to Scarlet Coast. We need Nosis 2 to decipher this. Which I think when you have Nosis 2 and you go back here, you basically um, can fight the boss here, I assume. I'm going to show you what Nosis is all about. So we actually finished this. So what we can do is we can... I don't have a key yet. Well, we can get the ammo, but that wouldn't make any sense. And we can go to the portal, basically. We have to kill some enemies in order to extract. So we're going to do that. Hopefully. Hopefully you don't die in the process. And then, um, yeah, I can show you how to use... We don't have money. But we have enough um, witch fire to unlock the whole Gnosis thing. And I'm going to show you what that is all about. And we actually need to go to the coast anyways. In order to get to Gnosis 1. Which is basically just, you know... Upping the ante in terms of difficulty also and unlocking more stuff. Peaceful. And peace out. Yeah, well, that's the cool thing, you know? We have unlocked so... That was the thing, you know? I was like, you know, we have unlocked so much. We have so much power, basically, in terms of, like, the arcana that we have. But do we really want to take the risk and get more witchfire and do the side quest? Or do we just want to extract with the stuff that we have? But then, when we go back, we have to up... Um, you know... We have to, um... We have to upgrade again. So, that's, that's the cool thing. So, let's check this. So, um, we have new gear in, in the gun room. So, I think it was like at 75% the weapon that we researched. Or ha do we have it already? Not yet. So, we had 15 out of 20. We have 4 gold actually at the moment. Uh, let's see. Actually, Oh yeah, we have a... Uh, we found a light spell, which is fire breath. Um, a fire breather's trick turned into deadly damaging... Turn deadly, damaging enemies and recharging melee. To increase power, we have to hex enemies, hit enemies with it, basically. And second, Mysterium Incantation. Let's see, we didn't have a spell yet, so... This is how it looks. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. So, with the Witchfire that we have, we can actually unlock this. Oop. Now we can down... We can go down here. And this is another thing, basically, that we can unlock. We have Gnosis, which when you upgrade this, it also makes the game harder. We have to complete all of these and then come back. And then we have to study Gnosis 1 and then the game gets harder, basically. Carry Witchfire, we need 12,000. We need to carry that, which is a risk, obviously, if we lose it. Uh, go to Scarlet Coast and see the shipwrecks. I'm gonna show you a Scarlet Coast. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna close this profile for now. And I'm gonna show you how the game looks when you actually have two weapons or multiple weapons actually unlocked. So now it's like, you know, either I want to up the ante and up update Gnosis. Or I use the Witchfire that I have because I could, I could lose it. And use it to ascend and give me some more points in my stats before I make the game harder. You know? But obviously when you make the game harder... Um, you also get more witch, uh, witch fire out of it. So, you know, that's how you have to balance it out. Now, also, when you start the thing and you go to the Island of the Damned, which defense is very low, once you up, once you, once you study Gnosis, um, the witch defenses get harder, so the game gets harder. And also you saw that for one of the thing in the Island of the Damned, you need to, you need Gnosis 1 in order to see what it does, basically. Now, basically, we have to investigate the tower or acquire resources and escape back to the Hermatorium. Still for this one. So, I'm gonna show you now how it looks when you have played a little bit longer. 
when you have a more upgraded character, basically. So I'm gonna go to my shadow guy who is level 16. I already studied Gnosis 1. And I can show you but the apothecary. I can show you um, also spell. This is like the fire breath also, and this is like the for whom the bell tolls, basically. Uh, cursed bell. Spawns a cursed bell, fire ring at the bell, tolls it, stunning all nearby minor enemies. Usually. Um, okay. So here, you can see different kinds of weapons. We have the ricochet. This is so good. You aim down sights. Up to three enemies can be tagged while aiming down sights. Shooting one ricochets the bullet to the others. The link breaks on reload or when all targets die. You basically aim down sights. You just scroll over them. Then they are marked. You shoot one, you shoot the other ones. This is so good. You have hypnosis. Bolt action rifle. First mysterium is what we have unlocked for each and every single one actually. Aiming down sights slowly charges the bullet with bonus damage. Obviously, when you have uh, unlocked the second and then the third Mysterium, then it does more stuff. Like for this one, the first Mysterium is the one where you aim down sights, you tag them. And then once you kill 75 enemies, have the mysterious uh, action, incan action and then get the incantation, then this weapon gets more stuff on top of that. I have the All-Seeing Eye, which is a starting weapon for um, the Shadow. Increase damage against enemies with more than 75% HP. Pretty good. Especially when you go for crits. I hate this one, Hunger. Reloading grants one charged bullet for each critical hit before the reload. Charged bullets deal increased damage. This one just doesn't deal any damage in the first place. If you see here, this is 38 damage. Stun power is very high, but for the all-seeing eye, it's 32, it's less. Alright. Never mind then. Uh, Ricochet also has le less damage, but also more um, rate of fire. And we have the Psycho Pump, which is a shotgun. Um, kills with a charged melee. Kills with a charged melee regenerate up to half a magazine. Alright. Apparently, I hate this weapon because, you know, I only have the first shit, but then nothing else. The thing that I play with usually is Ricochet and All Seeing Eye. I also have a ring. Dash leaves behind a delayed bomb that damages and knocks back enemies. I don't have anything in slots or fetishes yet. And... Whoop, hold on. That was the wrong one. Uh, I'm at Nuss level 1. Overall, my character is level 16. I have 5,799 Witchfire. And right now, at the moment, I have another long-range weapon. Right here, I have 14 gold, which I... Either save up for... Probably for a relic. Because I have, yeah, I have a ring. Uh, it's also random, I guess, what it researches. It's just like a random weapon or a random relic, whatever you basically get. Uh, but yeah, I think I want to get a relic next. So, we're gonna go actually down here. I'm gonna show you what happens once you have unlocked Nosus 1. Obviously, you get more stuff on the maps that you can get. I wanna check that little um, area in the first map also, but I'm gonna show you the Scarlet Coast. Now, for the, to upgrade to Gnosis 2, you need to carry 30,000 Witchfire. Uh, you have to do at least two. You don't have to do all of these. Force Manifestations, which I've done. And defeat the first Familia. Or carry with Witchfire, obviously. And then, obviously, we have Gnosis 2. Uh, more stuff is unlocked with that. And, obviously, also the game gets harder. So, when, you, when you've done Gnosis 1, I'm going to show you what it says on the map select, select screen, because the witch's defenses obviously are harder, which is right here. That's still very low, and you have 102% witch fire gain. Interesting. I'm gonna show you Scarlet Coast. The objective is kill the witch's familiar, which is the one that we need for the Gnosis 2, or acquire resources and escape back to the Hermitorium. 5,799 witch fire, fire is at, ra at risk. One workshop workshop research is active, and we have two healing elixirs out of two. Let's a go. I don't know how you how you get more elixir carriage thing. It's either with the player level or by um upgrade updating the nozzles. So I actually spawned at the second one, uh, the second portal. The other one, the other starting portal is somewhere down here, I think. I think it's like here in this area. But actually, I think it's here. 
I, I think. So here we have also da dangerous areas. A curious object can be seen at a distance. Whatever it is, there's always a chance it might turn out useful in your one-man crusade. Protective devices. An area full of various... Oh, Nosis 1. This also spawns fucking traps. I haven't seen one yet, actually. We have to quarry here, and apparently a dangerous area with a lot of spoils money? Bruh. I'm gonna go... Warden of the Dead? Morbid creature. Well, we are right next to a dangerous area, so... Maybe. Uh, here are the two uh, weapons. By the way, I'm carrying the... What am I carrying, actually? Yeah, the All-Seeing Eye, Standard Shadow, Starter Weapon, and also the Ricochet. And I'm gonna show you the Ricochet. This is so fucking good. You feel drawn towards them. Sure thing. Alright. Okay, we have... What is this? Oh. Oh. That is the target. The, now I, you know, attacked him, basically. This looks scary. Are you friendly? Well, probably not. So in this case... In this case... Let me crouch down. Boom. Oh. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. That's probably a mistake. So let me attack these guys. And now the bullets ricochet to the other one. Until I reload. Now it's done. Now it's done. Now I have to attack them again. And these guys just throw fucking bombs. It's like my third time in the Scarlet Coast. So, you know, I still don't know every little enemy here. So bear with your boy. Let me take that witch fire. Where did the warden go, actually? Did he bail? It seems like it. Okay, let me show you the bolt action rifle, which is this one. Love the damage it does. Headshot, one shot. Easy. Oh, this fucker. But one shot. Okay, never mind then. No. Actually. Here's the to the bell. Stuns them. The witch is not happy. Oh boy. Let me shoot it. Stun him again. Yeah, I think it stuns when you basically summon it and then it stuns again. Okay, here we go. Marked all of them. Okay, wait. This is this is my kind of fight. You fucking hit me. Okay, here we go. Mano e vumano. Okay, there's no one behind me. Good. I'm attacked or something. You little fuck boy. Okay, let me heal up. We got the healing elixir. We got the second one again. Here we go. These are the kind of fights I fucking love. Long range, you know. High stakes. Pretty cool. Rekindled. Killing burning enemies. Partially recharge fire spells. Never seen this before. Faster light spell recharge. Absolutely. We have a supply key chest. These things, uh, you can shoot them. They are basically... Oh, let me get that. That's for um, elixirs. Um, they basically explode. Dude. Fucking die. Yeah, that's a problem. The fucking bombs that they chuck, I think they just slow you down. I can't charge. When I'm in that state. Uh, wait. I wanted to go over there and see what that is all about. That's interesting. I haven't been here yet. I've been mostly on, like, this side of the map, usually. The, by the two times that I played here. Shard of the Mask of Elias. I collected that before, I think. Maybe I died. Ah, eh, pretty likely. So we have one uh, key. Now I just need to find a supply chest. Oh, 
Oh, it's down there? I guess so. Oh, there's a chest. Beautiful. Is it an open one so you can see that? Yeah, this is open. I think. No, it's not. Never mind. We have a lot of gold, a healing elixir. I can use mine. Take that. You need higher Gnosis to see... Uh, Gnosis 2. Gotcha. The Endless Rift. Okay, this is the first familiar. Um, that is not my not my move gem. This, I also have seen this before. They usually lead you towards a trap. Not not entirely. I haven't seen this these things before. What in the dick? Oh shit. Okay, you need to die him. Oh god, okay. Okay, I got you. Wait. Have I... Have I summoned someone that I didn't mean to summon? I hope not. If yes, it's just a prank, bro. The, the music doesn't look, doesn't sound nice. Oh, hold on. Oh, this, these guys. Okay. Why is the music epic? Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Burned him. Oh, damn it. Okay, heal up. I think I killed the thing. Whatever it was, it's dead. Hopefully. Scared him. It's another chest key. Oh, you dick. Actually, I wanted them. Well, it's alright. Woo! Stun him! Okay. He's still shot. Let's heal up. Oh, it's a drowned captain. Ah, oh my god. Why are you guys here? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Okay, I don't know if I want to fight this guy. We have another supply chest. Actually, no, I'm running. I'm running. I didn't want to do this. This was a hoot. Well, this chest is going to be interesting, though. No? Okay. We go to safety. And stop with the epic music. Ladder. Uh, protected by a calamity hex. Oh, yeah. This spawns a calamity. If you decide to pick it up, its power might bring unknown dangers upon you. It's worth four gold. Curse risk is small. I always cleanse it. Let's claim it. The luck is on your side. Thank God. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Get gold for it. Who? Who's shooting? Oh, oh my God. The entire entourage is coming. I'm trapped. Um. No, I'm not. Never mind. We're cool. Let's just let's just hope they're not gonna catch up. Uh, where is the portal actually? All the way, fucking. Okay. Oh, this is a second dormant portal that I haven't used yet. So well, I'm gonna go to this. We just have to kill whatever they spawned in there really fast, and then and then we're cool. If they turn to flank. They're trying to flank your boy. By the way, I'm only level one still. I just realized that. 
What in the dick? Okay, you're a new, I guess. I hope. You don't belong to the entourage. Oh my god, they might actually be. Oh, I thought I burned you. Shit. Oh god, okay. Okay. Stamina, I need my stamina. Yeah, that's fire damage. Okay. Oh, shit. God. And they, they shot me. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, but... 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 We're gonna go in again. We're gonna go... Right away, we have zero witch fire, so there's nothing to lose, actually. Yeah. Because there is some gold. And obviously a lot of fucking witch fire that we collected, and I want to get that shit back. We are as far away from the boss as possible, I think. Uh, it's next to fucking protective devices, which is kind of, which kind of blows, but, you know. Warden of the Dead. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's the guy that I shot. Maybe that was also a bad idea. Uh, the thing what we can do actually here is, um, we get the... Obviously we get our remains back. And then, um, acti actually activate the dormant portal here, so we have another entry point to, um... The Scarlet Coast. Which I thought there was only two. Maybe. What the? Fucking scared the shit out of me. Who the fuck are you? Goddamn. Yeah, the game also has jump scares. Thank you. Actually, it's reloads. Uh-huh. I see someone back there. Multiple ones. So I'm going this way. Requires 2,500 with volatile witchfire. Oh, hold up. Mercenary. Where in the fuck? Didn't credit this guy this thing sadly. There you are. Oh, he shoots twice. Good to fucking know. Oh my god. Oh, heal up. Thank you. Whoops. Alright. Let me get that. What do we have? Power drain... Yes. So we have to be on them fast to get the shit that they drop. Okay. Do I have enough? 2,500, a little bit more. I want to see what that is. Oh, get it! Uh... 2,400, come on. A little bit more. One more enemy. One more enemy. Oh wait, that's, that's my spoils, actually. Yes! Yeah, 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 okay, we got it. Ooh. Mandrake. Prevents fatal damage once per expedition. Oh! Activate restores some health, fully recharges spells, grants a few seconds of immu immunity to any incoming damage. Ooh. Lovely. So if you want to know where this is, it's right here. On the map. Uh, 
yeah, we're gonna go to the Dorman portal, activate that. The Warden of the Dead is right here, okay. So, apparently we want to avoid him, I just shot him. <laughs> so, you know, zero fucks given. Uh, is that a chest? No. Maybe it was once. I never know. Okay, a little bit of platforming. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are pretty much on track. We're also gonna come... Oh, there's a chest. We'll also come past... Uh-huh. Oh! You guys! I don't know if they can drop keys. Probably not. Okay, we got gold, raven feathers. Sweet. You know, this is the thing. I now took my took the remains that I got from the last run when I died. When I die now, I lose that and the stuff... Oh, shit. And the stuff that I gathered now. I saw, like, a fucking sniper somewhere there. What the fuck happened? Well. Apparently, they literally breed here. Oh, that's two keys. Maybe. Maybe I actually one. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Can you not? Oh, shit. Okay, wait. I have to, I have to bounce here. I'm getting a little bit too stupid for you, boy. Oh, hold on. I get this guy. And him. I started to dissolve, so I took too long. Okay, okay. Problem. Oh, this guy. Yeah, uh, okay, you see the problem here now? Oh, God. Maybe, uh, maybe that was too much. Maybe that was too much. But let's see. Okay. Out of stamina, let's recharge that real quick. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Chill. Everything is gonna be all right. Maybe. Hopefully. I guess. Oh, shit. You're, you fuck. You fuck, boy. A certified one at that. Oh, God. Okay. That's a lot of people. Wait. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, problems. Okay. God, I'm fucking tense. Open. God damn it. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Why are you so beefy? Okay, fuck you. Oh my God, dude. Jesus. Ugh. Getting too old for this. <sighs> okay. Well, we're almost holding the amount of the fucking witch fire required. Ah, uh, I'm alive, I think. <sighs> Good. <laughs> so we got that. We have 26 gold. Now we can basically go for... So, we can equip one... Relic, one fetish, and one ring. One, one light spell, one heavy spell. This one is freaking amazing. Um, So, whoops. So basically, what I want to get is obviously... Oh... Level 20. 
Right. I'm 16, I think. Super sweet 16. Yeah. So four more levels. Or I get 16,000 Witchfire and then I can get upgrade to Gnosis 2. But I think I want to level I think I want to level up first though. That's the thing. Like, you know, now I have 14,000. Do I want to level up? Do I want to save it? You know, for as I, as I said, for Gnosis 2. That's the thing. But you know, my friends, that is it for this little showcase of Witchfire. Uh, actually, wait. I need Gnosis 2 for this, so I don't even know what this does. But I think I showed you pretty much everything. Um, again, obviously, you know, the different weapons, you upgrade them, they get more perks. You get more perks, obviously, as you level up, you get different stuff that you can use, so... You know, this game is a lot of fun, and I'm gonna play it a lot. And the thing is, like, this game ha literally has that thing, because, you know, you can just go into one of... The, uh, you can go into uh, the map, and then you're gonna be like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna get some witch fire, and then I extract, or I do, like, the boss, and then I extract, because it gives you more loot, obviously, with that, so, it always has, it, it really gets that thing where it's like, you know, okay, one more run, and then, you know, maybe I don't take this weapon, maybe I take, like, the bold action with a shotgun, so, you know, I can go and have, like, some melee combat advantage, or I go for a pistol, never, and, uh, yeah, I also go for this one, because the tagging is really cool with this. It's just, like, <sighs> This, this game is good. And again, you know, you just go in and then you're all like, okay, I'm going to make one more one. I'm going to make one more. And maybe I'm going to make one more again, you know, and no, this is the last one. But then, you know, you're like, okay, I died a stupid death, so I want to get my remains and then I play another one and stuff like that. So this is what this game does really, really well. And this is still early access and it still has so much stuff. You have a lot of pistols that you can unlock, a lot of long range weapons, a lot, a lot of um, close range weapons, obviously, like shotguns and such. Yeah, there's a lot. And the game is obviously tough as tough as balls, obviously, you know? Like, you level up. Um, enemies always have the same amount of HP, which is something that I, did, that I didn't even know, uh, because people were like, okay, so when you level up, the game gets harder, which is not the case. It only gets harder when you upgrade to the Nozzes. That's when the witch basically amps up her defenses. Again, enemies have still the same amount of HP, but she summons, like, more powerful ones, basically. Uh, so, yeah, my friends... With that being said, if you liked anything that you've seen here, definitely grab this game. One hour and 30 minutes. Is what, how, how long I recorded this. And I'm gonna play a lot more after this when it's rendering, so yeah. If you liked anything that you saw here, definitely grab this game. I'm absolutely stunned by this one. And, you know, just recently there was like this increase of people playing this on YouTube, and I see why. I don't know if it's, like, as good to watch. Maybe it is. Uh, because, like, it, it, apparently it is. Because, you know, it's, like, high risk. At the beginning, you know, I was, like, I gathered so much. Do I really want to do the side quest? and I want, Or the main quest of this to unlock the sacred coast? I did. I won. I got even more witchfire, more gold out of it. And also got, you know, to unlock the second map. Um, Yeah, that's the thing. Do you want to take the extra risk? Or do you want to play it safe? It's all up to you, obviously. And then at the end, obviously, I get rushed down by the boss that I didn't want to summon. So that was also something. Well, yeah, my friends, as I said, you know, I would say definitely buy it. A game, you saw at the beginning how much it is on uh, Steam. I would say it's worth it. And obviously, you know, the roadmap is there all the way up to 2025. So there's a lot of stuff coming in. Again, hope you enjoyed it, my friends. Again, I'm going to play this a lot more now that it's rendering. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, definitely let me know. And I hope to see you all in the next one.